Welcome to the Big Super Channel. So today I am going to show you how to take deal lookup function. Or how to deal with deal lookup function with VBO coding. So this is very easy. So I'll show you step by step how can we do this. For this purpose, I designed table and also form. So my table name is sample and my form name is FRM item. And I designed form based on my sample table. Then the uh, my table includes four columns item code description quantity on hand and need price these are the columns of my table and uh, my form is like this so there i have four text boxes one is combo one combo box so the combo box name is cbo item code and the uh, description uh, this text box name is txt description this is for description and this is for quantity on hand you can see the name here the layer here my uh, right uh, my right hand side you can see the name of this text box and this is for the unit price the XT price so this is that's the name of that last text box name so let's write the VB code to take the uh, to test the dlocal function so basically I, want, I use this one I mean this is my uh, primary uh, column I mean the item code so I am going to write the VBA code based on this combo box so we have to right click on this uh, combo box and select build event select build event then they are choose code builder then it it takes you a vba code editor then here uh, here you have to write uh, cbo item code here you have to select the uh, after update event for this purpose so here therefore uh, click on this drop down menu and select the after uh, update event for CBO item code yeah I, now I selected the after update event as shown in the video now here you have to write your coding so therefore my co the coding process is like this Yeah, the, yeah, me dot me dot txt description then equal D lookup. D lookup then we have to open the commas and the so follow these steps then the table column table column is item here Then, the, then then next uh, table name our table name is sample no? then uh, item code that is, that is the primary field item cod item code CBO item code, CBO item code, then close the brackets. Now, now let's check. Now let's test, check the coding first. So here, those are the drop down list values. So just select frock. Yeah, so it shows here under the item description now we have two more text boxes to uh, write our coding so go to design view then again right click build event so I just copy this 
लाइन टाइस Then the, instead of txt dea dsc, now I want to take what I want to take uh, txt qoh. It means voltage on hand. Yes. Now this is the table column. This should be qoh. And sample table here item code cbo. And here. Uh, we want to take the text txt price yeah here you have to give the unit price it is the table column name unit price now it's okay now let's check the process now select Saro. oh yeah we have something I is missing now. Yeah, it works. It works. Now they select fifth one. Key skirts. You see now it's skirts description and the uh, quantity on hand and unit price is updated. These columns are updated according to the item code value. Just uh, select shirts. Yeah. So these are the table where we use to take daily cup values. Then whatever you select from item for text box, then uh, other fields filled up accordingly. So this is how you can use uh, daily cup function with VBO, VBA uh, codings to uh, to uh, deal with your database. Uh, data so if you need any assistance or if you need any clarification please put a comment under the comment section of my video and don't forget to subscribe okay let's meet again with a new video then goodbye